What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about the patch notes that they just released. So this patch will be coming out August 1st, 2024 and will be released at 8am Eastern Time. They are also releasing a cook outfit. This is his gas station outfit as you guys can see. This cook outfit will be coming out as well and will be $2.99 USD. Moving on to the patch notes, we have a lot to uh, go over here. So the first thing is the museum mode, and the museum mode is uh, it's big. I thought I'll be honest. I thought the museum mode was going to come out for the one year anniversary of the game, but it looks like it's coming out August first. So freely explore the mad and macabre of the iconic family house. Along the way, you'll discover puzzles and facts pulled from the history of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But will you survive, and what will be left of you? And also, players will find Museum Mode listed in the main menu in-game. The next thing they changed is, or they're adding the Museum Mode, but now they changed the Suffocating Grip Grandpa Perk level. So the Grandpa Perk Suffocating Grip will now activate at level 1. And this is huge. I think they honestly moved Suffocating Grip to level 1 to kind of counter the Choose Fight meta. And Suffocating Grip was, was previously a level 2 Grandpa Perk. The next thing they changed was Nobody Escapes Hell Grandpa Perk level. The Grandpa Perk Nobody Escapes Hell will now activate at level 2. I think we all predicted this. I mean, a lot of people wanted Nobody Escapes Hell to be either level 1 or 2. So now it's at level 2 Nobody Escapes Hell. Nobody Escapes Hell was previously a level 3 Grandpa Perk. They now tuned the Brute Strength Grandpa Perk. So they have tuned the Grandpa Perk Brute Strength accordingly. They have slightly increased the melee damage Brute Strength applies. Brute Strength is a level 2 Grandpa Perk. The next perk they tuned is Swinging for the Fences. So they have tuned the Grandpa Perk Swinging for the Fences accordingly. It reduces stamina consumption on melee attacks by 25%. Previously, swinging for the fences reduced stamina consumption on melee attacks by 20%. The next perk they tuned was uh, Suffocating Grip. They actually tuned a lot of perks here, as you guys can see down on the list. So they have tuned the Grandpa Perk Suffocating Grip accordingly. The Close Encounter minigame is easier by 25%. Previously, Suffocating Grip made the Close Encounter minigame easier by 20%, so now it's easier by an extra 5%. Note, Suffocating Grip applies to all family members when perk is equipped. The next perk they tuned is Exterior Alarms. They have tuned the Grandpa Perk Exterior Alarms accordingly. When active, all critical doors and gates are highlighted for 10 seconds if opened. Previously, Exterior Alarms highlighted all opened critical doors and gates for 5 seconds. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I was not expecting this. I honestly thought they were going to change it to where exterior alarms only works for the doors and gates upstairs. And it doesn't work on the basement doors. But damn, 10 seconds? That's double the previous. Because before it was 5 seconds when it was uh, activated. Like before when exterior alarms activated, it was 5 seconds. Now it's 10 seconds. That's double. Double the amount. The next perk they tuned is Nobody Escapes Hell Grandpa Perk. They have tuned the Grandpa Perk Nobody Escapes Hell accordingly. The minigame for locked doors is 50% more difficult for all victims. Previously, the minigame for locked doors was 40% more difficult for all victims. I mean, god damn. <laughs> now it's a 10% increase. But keep in mind that Nobody Escapes Hell is also a level 2 perk. So if you're playing victim and they feed grandpa to level two yeah go shank them <laughs> because yeah that nobody escapes all it's good it's, it's good 50 percent more difficult for all victims the next perk they tuned is excited grandpa excited grandpa the grandpa perk they have tuned the grandpa perk excited grandpa accordingly the delay between grandpa's sonar ability is reduced by 25 percent at level three four and level five Previously, the delay between Grandpa's sonar ability was, was reduced by 20% at level 3, level 4, and level 5. The next perk they tuned, I think it's the last one. Yes, the last one. The last perk they tuned was Don't Have All Day Grandpa perk. They have tuned the Grandpa perk Don't Have All Day accordingly. Stamina drain while sprinting is decreased by 20%. Or, my bad. Stamina drain while sprinting is increased by 25%. Previously, stamina drain while sprinting was decreased by 20%. So it looks like, as you guys can see, it looks like, dude, they made a, a lot of adjustments here for the grandpa perks. They made a, they made adjustments for the grandpa levels in the tiers, and they also made adjustments to the actual perks itself. What do you guys think about those uh, changes? I'll be honest, I was not expecting the exterior alarms uh, change. I was not expecting that whatsoever. I thought they were going to make it where it only highlighted on the doors upstairs, not in the basements. So now we're going to go to see what they fixed. So they fixed uh, the victim's inventory, enhances traps. 
They have fixed an issue where victims where where victim players who disarmed an electric trap on fuse box generator or the valve pressure pipe would see a hands trap appear in their inventory. This is a good fix, by the way. This was annoying because dude, it would it would literally get rid of your fuse and replace it with a hands trap, which made no sense. Thank God they're fixing this. Electric traps will no longer be able to appear in a victim's or electric traps will no longer be able to appear in a victim player's inventory. The next thing they fixed is the texture of walls or the texture of wells on the mill. They have fixed an issue where a black texture was present inside one of the wells on the mill map when viewing from the basement. This well is located in dig room storage. And finally, they fixed the lighting on the mill. They have fixed an issue where the lighting in the fields areas resulted in unnatural and muddy looking lights on characters. We fixed an or they fixed it and they fixed a lighting issue on the mill night where the red light on the ground floor was reflecting off props incorrectly. So man, this uh this update is gonna be interesting. I mean, a lot of good or for family, this is good for family. For sure. I mean, lobbies will probably get better now, hopefully, after this change. Because as we know, the lobby has been bad. The lobbies have been bad for victims, or even solo queue families as well. So we'll see how this goes. It's coming out August 1st. Museum mode is huge, by the way. Museum mode is huge. And they changed a lot of perks and tuned a lot of perks. So we'll see how it goes on August 1st, 2024, 8 a.m. Eastern Time, which is a Thursday. And let me know what you guys think in the comments about this patch. It's going to be very interesting. But other than that, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and take care, guys, and see you in the next one.